What makes it interesting about this young worker is that when you look at the call of God, it's particularly when God should have been talking to the kings of Israel, is we find the first point of understanding the call of God. And this point is, there's always someone more qualified for the call. Think about it. When God calls, there's always somebody who, like David's brothers, looked like kingly. There's always someone who should have gotten the, 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 the should, should be better. I mean, think, think about this. When, when God calls us, he rarely ever calls the persons who are actually qualified. I was, I was a nursing major here at Oakwood. I said, I'm going to work in a hospital. I enjoy talking and dealing with people. And, and for 18 months, God was like on my shoulder like, I'm, I'm, I'm just a kid from Texas. I didn't feel, I, 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 I stutter. I got, I got issues. And God still said, I'm going to call anyway. Notice now, when we begin to compare other people with the call that God has on our life, you miss out on the fact that God is calling you in the fact, you miss out on the fact that God is calling you knowing all about you. So how do I know that God is calling me to do something that when you look around and say, man, but Pastor Ross can do it better, or man, somebody else can do it better, or when I look around and I see uh, someone else, the, the, the rockers can do it better, that's when God is saying, I called you. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 16, man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. 